Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm back again with another project. The aim of this uh, new little mini project is to bring this old beat up uh, dreadnought back to a tabletop standard so I can fill it in my Luna Wolves army. As you can see on it, it's been uh, broken off here in the middle, but that's just a matter of gluing, gluing it back together. Uh, a wolf pelt was attached here, so I'm gonna have to carve that away. I'm gonna have to find uh, some replacement shin guards to put down there. And as you can see the um, front plate here and the sides had some icons attached to it so I have to mask those up as well. The good thing about this uh, dreadnought is that the paint job is very very thin. I actually believe it's been... somebody tried to strip it away so you can actually see the grey plastic uh, shining through. This model was uh, given to me in a trade as a little bonus. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see if you can uh, bring it back so we can put it on the table once more and can continue to romp around the 40k universe or in this case the 30k universe sowing destruction. So the next step is to uh, Clean up the model, scrape off all the excess uh, plastic and bits that has been attached and then we'll come back and take a look on how we can modify it and uh, clean up the damage. So, we're back and as you can see I've done some work on the dreadnought. I put a new uh, front plate on the casket. The old one was too damaged to uh, uh, rescue so I just uh, used the spare that I had. You can get them on eBay for cheap, or uh, if you don't have a spare yourself, just uh, ask a pal that plays uh, Space Marines. Uh, they usually have a few extras. The side plates I replaced with the plastic card and rivets, and added some details, icons, purity seals, some lights, and whatever this thing is. Some kind of relic, it looks like. Uh, I also mounted the uh, these are not actually glued on yet, I think I'm going to magnetize them to be able to have some options on the weapons. But these are uh, walker uh, weapon mounts from Puppets War and they actually are made to fit the Dreadnought. Just, uh, excellent. And they have these uh, stepped uh, shoulder pad design that uh, will go well into my the rest of my 30k army. So. Uh, I found some old uh, shin guards from another uh, scrapped dreadnought unfortunately the, on the inside they had been over glued so the mounting brackets for uh, the shin guards uh, I had to cut them away so I actually mounted some on the uh, actual legs on dreadnoughts and I'm just gonna glue the shin guards onto those points instead so uh, that's the work I've done and uh, these, Just excuse me for a sec. These are the actual weapons I'm gonna use. I'm trying to show them without having my hands all over the picture. There we go, some tweezers. Uh, twin linked uh, auto cannons from Puppets War. They mount down on like that. So I have one pair for this side and another one for that side. So the next step is gonna be to magnetize the arms, glue on the weapons, the shin guards and then uh, probably do some kind of a base for it as well and then it's gonna be ready for uh, paint. So uh, I will be back uh, again with an update when uh, we've put some paint on the beast. Until then, bye!